I thought the event went really well. It was very organized, um, very well attended by the players. I felt like we had a really good staff today um, and it was really nice having Jerry actually out at the event to be here in person. I think the thing that impressed me the most about the event was the amount of players that attended the event. It was very well attended, but not only that, the level of the players and the quality at the camp. Um, there were some special players, but there were a lot of good players here as well. Um, so it always makes those types of camps, these environments, a lot better when there's lots of good players. COVID has definitely presented some challenges this year trying to run the ID2 program. Um, it's, it's been a double-edged sword. We've had a lot of success in how we ran things in the previous years of doing our national camps and bringing lots of players in. Um, now we've had to do it in a little bit more intimate setting, um, spread across smaller venues. But I think the reward has been, it's given some markets like Washington, for example, an opportunity um, for players here to be seen who sometimes have been underserved um, just due to the geographical location of Washington um, and sometimes the limitations of us only being able to do three or four camps and depending on where those camps were. So yes, it, it definitely was a challenge, but it, like I said, it, it opened up some, some doors for markets like this to get some extra players seen. So I, I thought that was a huge benefit during a very difficult time like COVID. The plan for the next step in the process for these players today is obviously the players that have done well um, that impress Jerry um, and those of us on staff will get an invite into the national camp. Um, the location is to be determined, but um, we are looking at Arizona and Florida, I believe, as one of the possible locations. So those players that performed well today will be selected into that event in December. And then um, after that, the hopefuls will move on to an international tour at some point in the future, I believe in the spring. Um, but good opportunities for these players. Even if they don't make the team, um, I think it's a good environment for them to be exposed to other players that are similar talents. Um, and so it's, it's more a, a journey rather than a destination. But best of luck to all the players.